Welcome once again guys to Jones's vlog. Um, only one topic I can really talk about today, sorry to my non Leeds United supporters but it is again going to be Leeds United based. Um, after yesterday's uh, loss and over the last few weeks uh, quite a lot of fans have started coming out um, saying they want War not to leave. Uh, they believe he, he needs to be sacked, they're not happy with him um, and they believe that a new manager would actually help uh, in our current situation. Personally I don't agree with this at all. Um, I do agree that he's been making some strange decisions of late. Um, the decision yesterday to uh, make all those subs at once uh, at half time um, was a strange one uh, but but I can see why he's done it at that stage in the game we've gone down to 10 men uh, which I don't believe was correct but anyway um, we had gone a goal down we weren't playing well um, you know he'd already have to make uh, one substitution um, so it was a risk that he needed to take we've seen it before when when teams are down to 10 men and they're losing the game managers need to do something so he decided to go all out and go for it which is fair enough I mean we've seen you know I'm pretty sure Alex Ferguson has done that before and all top managers have made these risks before sometimes they work out it could have worked out yesterday if you know if uh, Austin hadn't have broken his leg I mean Warnock wasn't to know we were going to get such a nasty injury like that but it is one of those risks we have to take I mean personally I wouldn't have done it at that time you know I'd have given it um, you know maybe one substitution then see how it was going uh, and then try to change it a bit later if it wasn't but you know he made that risk and you know we we paid the price for it um, and then after that you know going down to nine men I mean it, the result had gone out the window by then I mean the, the awful lead break for Austin um, was really the main factor from yesterday and the main down point um, but you know even if it had stayed at 1-0 it could have stayed, gone to 10-0, 8-1 whatever it doesn't matter at that point when you were going to lose the game um, so yes he has been making strange decisions but changing the manager now in our situation is not going to help us we could bring any manager into our club and it would not make diddly squat difference I'm pretty sure you could bring Wenger or David Moyes or anyone into our club right now and it, it wouldn't change anything. If you aren't given the money to bring uh, players in that you want and build the squad that you believe can get promoted back into the Premiership, then you're stuffed pretty much. His hands have been tied. He's had to bring in loan players. If Warner could have had the money to spend at the start of this season, if our takeover had gone through a lot sooner, I'm pretty sure we'd see a... a big difference in our squad that is playing out there at the moment I mean there'd be players that are in the first team now that wouldn't be in the first team there'd be lone players there that we wouldn't have been seeing there'd been signings that wouldn't have been made it would have been completely different we might have been up there, I mean it might not have worked we might have been in the relegation zone, who knows but I'm pretty sure things would be a lot different and Warnock will not be um, you know, he, well he said before he's not happy with the squad that he's got, he wants a better squad so all these people saying for him to go now why not just give him until the takeover goes through give him until January and the transfer window let him bring some decent quality players in some long term players the odd loan here and there he's already said um, uh, been given instructions to get a list ready so he, he's got his eyes on players that he wants in the team that he thinks will make the difference if it's not working after that and after he's had money to spend then change the manager fine don't have a problem with that that's absolutely fine bring Gus, Gus Poyet in bring um, Paolo Di Canio in you know I had quite a few people yesterday on Twitter suggesting uh, Di Canio I had someone suggest uh, Slaban Bilic um, Croatian manager um, absolutely fine just try something different try something to mix the squad up but at the moment it's not that, that we need money to invest into the squad then we can really see what Warnock is like with his own squad that he's brought in and that he's built. So sacking managers, right? People are too quick to blame the manager for everything. Yes, he's not been perfect with everything, but no manager is perfect. When you have Man U fans slagging Fergie off every week for the odd decision, um, Arsene Wenger gets slated a lot. David, Mott, you know, all top managers get slated for little decisions. It's no different for Warnock right now. You know, I think he's, under the circumstances, he's been doing a pretty decent job. 
So I believe he needs to stay, I believe he needs time, give him the money. If it's not working after that then fine he can go. But it, the main thing right now we need stability as a club. And that includes keeping the manager. And it also includes, includes like I said in my last vlog, the fans sticking together and staying united. We need to stop all the stupid nasty comments to each other on Twitter and at matches. Stick together, stay united stick it through till till January and the takeover and hopefully we can start building our club again and our team and we can head for the dizzy heights of the premiership once again and that's you know that's what we all want for our club so that's what I've got to say on the matter guys let me know what you think in the comments below or on Twitter at Chris Jones uh, LUFC um, I will be uploading another Jonesy Plays LA Noir video later today and I will probably be doing another vlog at some point tomorrow guys so thank you very much for viewing speak to you later